Howdy everybody, today's question is, would you make a video to explain how the bar prepares you for jumps? I know which exercises are meant to prepare you for jumps, but I find it really difficult to connect bar work to jumps. Like when I do frappes, I find it very difficult to conceive how it helps for jumps. I know it is meant to, but I don't fully get it. Okay. Well, I do have a video about jumps. Um, I'll link it somewhere. Yeah, if you start training for jumps immediately at the bar from your very first plie. Think of what goes into a jump, whether it's off of two feet or one foot. A regular saute in first position is what? A plie, a lengthen, and a push and a jump is essentially like a super releve. It's an extra releve. It's a releve that went farther. <laughs> when you are warming up for plies, it's not just, oh, let's warm up the knees. It is find your alignment, find how your butt cheeks, your butt muscles are right under you, how you are engaging these thigh muscles, how you are getting the whole foot on the floor, how you are stretching the Achilles tendon, and then do you keep that verticality when you straighten? That happens in a jump. That's a, a, plie, a plie at the bar is a jump. <laughs> I say this all the time. The bar is not something we made up just to slowly torture you. Everything you do at the bar applies to the center, especially jumps. I think almost everything at the bar can somehow be applied to a jump. Even when you are practicing your tendus, how you lengthen the foot, how the foot massages the floor, how you work through all of the muscles to leave the floor, and how you work through all the muscles when you accept the floor. That happens anytime your foot leaves the floor, whether it's a brush or whether it's a jump. You know, you have to lengthen and push through all the muscles. And when you land, you must relax your whole foot on the floor. You must get your heels down to engage these strong butt muscles right under you. So if you are going into the center and totally forgetting about everything you did at the bar, you are probably jumping like this. Like you have, you have tension, you're not getting your heels down, you're, you're, you're putting all of the strain here on the front of your legs instead of getting the heels down and engaging the butt and getting that verticality. Everything in a jump should be stacked right on top of each other. Your head is right above your ribs, your ribs are exactly on top of your hips, your hips are right over your butt, your butt's not back here, and your butt, your alignment, if you had a tail, if you had a tail, your tailbone would be going straight down, almost between your heels, not back here. So that invisible line must also go right over the heels. The foundation of a jump is a plie releve. The tendus, and the degages are for your petit allegro, the way you brush the floor, your immediate pointing of the foot when it leaves the floor, the immediate straightening of the legs, the immediate engaging of the turnout muscles, and how it accepts the floor upon the return. All of this boring footwork is not just to torture you. When you jump, you must land toes, ball, heel. You must go through those muscles, and we do that over and over and over at the bar so that hopefully it becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it, and when you jump, you land safely. And look, right here, what is this? What is this? Fondue. Fondue is also like a key element in building a healthy jump especially if it's off of one leg and landing on one leg. Same thing, the same goal as in plie. Get your alignment right on top of you, everything vertical, so that when you push for a jump in the future, you have it all right there. You're not hanging back here, you're not sticking your butt out, you're not trying to like hoist this awkward shape into a jeté. It's all right here, ready to go, right on top of the butt, and the butt can travel, and look, when you land, same thing. It is also a fondue. 
Fondue is more about the single leg jump, how you leave the floor, and how you accept the floor. So you mentioned frappes in your comments, and I agree frappes are a little bit weird just because there are so many different ways to do a frappe. Some teachers teach frappe with a flexed foot. Some teachers teach striking the floor. Some teachers teach don't strike the floor. Some teachers teach with a wrap and don't strike. Some teach with a wrap and do strike. There are many permutations on how to do a frappe. And when you're doing something different every time, it can get a little bit confusing, like how does that translate into jumps? But what it's really doing is training the stability of the thigh and just the speed of the lower leg. Like when you're doing a petit allegro thing like a jeté, you're not hoisting the thigh up, right? You come from this coup de pied position and it's only the lower leg, right? So the, the frappe combinations are training the thighs to stay still and just the activation of the lower leg. And we see this in, we see this in jetés and we see this in balanés or for balletes, we see that where you want the thigh to be still and only extend from the ankle. Don't change the level of the leg. That's where frappes come in. And grand bamas, I'm sure you can guess, we're kicking these high legs for what? For when we do big grand jetés across the floor. It's training you to get that momentum, get that energy, get that lift by pushing from the floor. The floor is always your springboard. Everything we do at the bar with the heels down first, that's teaching you to go through the floor. Everything we do at the bar, the plie, the tendu, the grand ma, the sweeping, it is all training you to go push against the floor. Your jumps don't initiate from somewhere up here. It's not a hip thrust. It's not a weird like, Thigh, I mean, you do use your thighs, but that's not where it should initiate from. It's not coming from up here. Your jumps all come from down here, from the resistance, the pushing against the floor until it can't go anymore, and then it goes up. When in doubt, pick apart your jump. What jump are you working on? And then break it down into like super, super, super slow motion and look at what is happening and try to figure out if those things happen at the bar. If your jump starts with a plie, as they all do, almost all of them do, that you're working on plie at the bar. If you must brush the foot to the side before initiating a jump, guess what? That's your tendu, that's your dégagé. If you are initiating your jump from a coup de pied position, guess what? That's a little fondue or that's a little frappe, the lower leg. If you're doing a jump like, like a pas de basque, that could be a rond de jambe combination because the legs have to make circles in the air or, or even some kind of saute with a rond verse. That is also a rond de jambe in the air. In your tour jetés, you must brush through first position. We're always brushing through first position at the bar and it's not a coincidence. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Stay salty, everybody.